going to talk about uh, gas stations now and uh, fuel stops and things like that. So, if you're like me, when I was in uh, in the US of A, I would nearly wait till I, I was pretty much empty before I fill up. It's a really bad habit I've had since I was a kid when I first started driving cars and that. Um, and we're coming up to a gas station now. So, you've got to get into a habit and it's a good habit of filling up when you're uh, filling up when you're ready to go when you're half full you know um, so just whenever whenever you need like I've got I've got a third of a tank left and I really should be filling up now only because you want to stay safe now if you like I mean I've got a big massive tank so I can relax a little bit more um, and it hasn't been a problem so far getting gas. Uh, gas. Gas stations have been here, there and everywhere. A few of the guys that I spoke to that had a shorter range actually carried an extra ca uh, uh, ca uh, canister with them, a one gallon canister, and they said they got low a couple of times, uh, really low a couple of times, when I, I would just cruise by and have another 120, 150 miles in my tank. So. You've just got to get into a habit of stopping and having a break. Now, I stop every two hours. Um, so every two hours, I'll actually stop and have a bit of a break. And then if there's a fuel stop, I'll also do a fuel stop as well. Um, treat them as a little bit of a break. Maybe sit down, or stand up, have a walk around. But enjoy them. Look at the scenery here. There's a lot of coffee plantations around here probably a little bit of other stuff as well and it's phenomenal um, so yeah and what you most of the countries uh, they raise a lot of their taxes through gas so you're going to be part you're not going to be getting it cheaper than uh, than the US um, uh, for the most part you're going to be paying around about the same uh, sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less um, now when you get into gas stations You'll find that probably 90% of the time you can get uh, the premium. Um, if you can't, I've, I've only had one, you know, out of hundreds and hundreds of tanks. Uh, I mean, not hundreds. Uh, I've probably I've only had one bad batch where the where the basically I uh, I was going to go off roading and I just couldn't because uh, I, it was just too unreliable and I just bled the I bled the tank and. Uh, and I got a, I got a fresh uh, uh, a fresh tank in there, and it was all good again. After after I uh, after a bit of, a little after about 15, 20 miles, it was all good again. So you gotta, the fuel's going to be pretty good. However, the one bad batch I did get was from a bit of a dingy one, um, a bit of a dingy uh, service station. So a uh, gas station. So we call them a service stations in Australia, and we call it petrol, not gas, because gas is a a gas, not a liquid. Um, so, yeah, so you'll find that when you get there, sometimes they'll ask you to get off the bike, and that's usually in the cities where people sometimes do a runner. Um, so here we're coming to this. So when you're in uh, South America, you just go onto this right side here, and you can just cruise on through. You don't have to pay the tolls. That's pretty good for motos. Couldn't go a little slower, could they? I'm gonna hit that. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah. When, when you go, when you get gas, um, fill her up, and uh, and they might ask you to get off the bike. The, the only time I've ever been asked to get on the bike, off the bike, is a couple of cities I've been asked. Um, and if you ever get in trouble with gas, they'll be able to, they'll, uh, I mean, a lot of the villagers also sell it as well. So, so as you can see, here's another one already, you know. So th you, you'll see them quite a bit. They're not, uh, you, you, there's very rarely, it was just in Baja and a few places in Baja, a few other places that they were, they were few and far between. Usually they'll have a little restaurant or a coffee shop or something nearby. 
can get yourself a fill, uh, get yourself something to eat as well, and a coffee. Um, in Mexico, they're all um, they're all government owned, so uh, they're all the same and. Uh, leave a little bit of a tip you know that, that's these people make bugger all money if you can leave a few dollars leave a few dollars you know you can inside pass too as long as you think that the the trucky knows them because the other the other bike went through I was pretty confident but yeah yeah so uh, gas is pretty cool pretty much everywhere have will give you a little bit of a view here look at that Magnificent. You get a little bit bored of this friggin' amazing scenery. You see it so often. I imagine the people living here don't even know it's here. It's like when I, you know, I live in Miami Beach and everyone who comes here go, oh my god, it's so beautiful, it's so beautiful. You sort of forget. I lived in Bondi Beach in Australia too and it's absolutely stunning. My sister and my family live in Williamstown and that's stunning. You know, you sort of take for granted where you live. Every now and then you're just going to stop and just take a little bit of a look. Anyway, that's it for the uh, need to know before you go uh, in relation to gas and petrol in Central South America.